Let's take a look at some other business headlines that we're watching today. In a major policy shift, China said it would allow all married couples to have three children. The country changed its one-child policy six years ago, but that wasn't enough to spur population growth. Last year, 12 million babies were born in China. That's the lowest since 1961. China's population is aging and its labor pool is shrinking. Experts, though, and China watchers are questioning whether this new policy will work. First gasoline, now meat. JBS, the world's biggest meat supplier, is the latest target of a cyber attack. The company closed its North American and Australian computer networks and said some transactions with customers and suppliers may be delayed. One industry website reported that all beef and lamb kills in Australia were canceled. Tennis star Naomi Osaka has withdrawn from the French Open, citing mental health after a showdown with organizers over the post-match press conferences. Osaka skipped the presser on Sunday and was fined $15,000 before explaining in a social media post that she has suffered bouts of depression since the U.S. Open in 2018. And the most open weekend since the start of the pandemic was also, not surprisingly, the best for the movie business. A Quiet Place Part 2 grossed $48.4 million. That's a post-pandemic high. Paramount forecasts that to that total will rise to $58.5 million, including yesterday, plus $22 million overseas. Cruella, meantime, which had a dual streaming and theater release, grossed $21.3 million in theaters. And this is relevant today because we've been talking about AMC, the theater business, whether it's going to come back. I know Cinemark shares are also higher today. And our own Brian Sazi was one of those butts in the seats over the holiday weekend watching this movie that we're seeing here, Cruella. Uh, 